so the updates are I dropped a class, I cut my hair, and I'm back on YouTube. Honestly, I wasn't prioritizing it. And I was working a lot, making bang, and that was higher on the list of priorities. Let's do some cleaning, huh? Yeah? You want a little time lapse? Let's, I'll give it to you. I trapped a centipede under a cup on my floor that I keep kicking and I'm releasing the centipede. <laughs> FaceTiming me. Hey. You want to say hi to the camera? Oh, hello. Anyway, what's uh, up? I'm on oh. my way for a smooch. I mean, to get the shirt. This shirt is for Jace? Yeah, so hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, I just got out of class. I'm a CA for a class that Iris dropped. Haha, <laughs> lol. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's an intro to experimental music. It's my, my campus job here at Westland. Leave a comment if you think. Iris shouldn't have dropped. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> this is my beautiful best friend, Jace. Or literally just his ass. Oh, bubble butt. He's changing. Oh, gee. Ah, oh, you look so good. Oh my God. I'm not taken right now, by the way. Single as could be. Mm-hmm. Painfully yeah. single. Um, Sorry, shut the fuck up. You're projecting right now, Iris. I think you're projecting. I don't even believe how beautiful you are. Jace's pants didn't work with the outfit, so he's wearing my pants! The room has been cleaned. There's a room tour coming soon if it's not already up. Still haven't dealt with the centipede. I think that's still a problem for future Iris. And I have class in 14 minutes. I'm on my short break. In the middle of my film class. I've been eating Flaming Hot Cheetos and it's actually kind of making me cry and I hope nobody can see, but I can't stop eating them. Mom, I'm sorry. I, I know I told you I was trying to eat more vegetables. I'm in that scene. Um, and so that the bitter irony is that she ends up um, <laughs> So over the past couple weeks, I've really been clarifying my priorities in college and in life. And I think I've really come to a point that I am happy with about what I really want to be doing with my time and how I want to be spending my energy. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I dropped a class. <laughs> I still need to fill out the paperwork for that. I think it's really important to have a balance of learning by absorbing and learning by doing. And I did not have that at all. I was trying to absorb too much information and because of that I wasn't really able to absorb any information. There's a lot of pressure on college students to take as many classes as you can, get it all done, be a hard worker. But that is toxic as fuck. Like it is so toxic. It's important to be participating in things that are really fulfilling for you. Before I dropped this class I would have my Monday school day which was pretty much from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and I'd be exhausted and miserable and not ready for the rest of my week and it would affect the rest of my week. Before I even dropped this class I did 24 hours of shooting over a weekend for a thesis film. I was the sound recordist. We actually just finished shooting this past weekend. Although I was exhausted at the end of those days I felt amazing. I felt fulfilled. I was happy to be there and I was happy to go back again. Even after one of those 12 hour shoots I went to work at my job as a live sound engineer and I worked a shift and I was exhausted afterwards but I was like happy I had done everything I wanted to do that day. And I got to spend that time working with people who are amazing and who are creative and who inspire me and I wouldn't have gotten that in a classroom setting. That being said, I do value learning in a school setting so much. That's one of the reasons I really am happy at college is because I am ready to sit down in a classroom and have somebody tell me something that I don't already know. But without the balance of also doing things that I'm passionate about, it was just like horrible and depressing. I was so depressed. <laughs> I'm here to encourage you to find something that you can do that is fulfilling. It can fuel your future or not, but as long as it makes you happy, it is doing and you deserve to be able to spend the time and energy doing it. Basically, I'm just really happy I made that decision and it also allows me to focus on my relationships with people which are a huge priority in my life. I think forming connections with other people really just makes life 
fun and good and I love it. So I really just know what my goals for the future are in a way that wasn't really clear to me before having this intensely stressful workload. So I think I'm gonna be going into audio engineering after college, possibly as a sound recordist or a live audio engineer or a mixer or just doing sound design for movies. Really, I don't know yet but I know that's the field that I want to work in and I know that I will be happy doing that wherever I am because I'm really passionate about it. So I was in this music class that I dropped which could assist me with my future as an audio engineer but what's really going to assist me is making music on my own, producing, and working at my job as an audio engineer on campus and in dropping that class I'm, I'm able to dedicate so much more time and attention to those things that are really going to help me in the future. Sometimes it can be hard to tell what is going to aid your future and what is going to not and if that's even a priority for you but I knew that it was the right choice for me to make. Okay that's enough of just me talking about dropping this class and why that was a good choice for me. I'm just here to encourage you to not be hard on yourself. College is hard, life is hard, school is hard, it's hard to be a student during COVID, online classes are hard, everything is harder right now. You deserve a break sometimes. You deserve a break anytime you want honestly this is your life your body your mind and i pray that that is possible so the most exciting thing happening this week is this i bought a new guitar <laughs> bit of a better angle for you <laughs> i don't even know where to begin oh whammy bar oh my god this, this is one of the reasons i was so excited for this guitar Let's plug her in. I'm so excited. So truly my first reactions here. I feel like a rock star. <laughs> all you have to witness me playing with this but oh my god let me show you my two guitars next to each other just because they're both so pretty the two sides of my personality let me give you some background this is a squire strat i think the 60s vibe one it was 400 bucks i have been taught to stay away from squires but these ones sound actually pretty fucking good so i bought one i've been working a lot of shifts as an audio engineer, that's my job. I was like, this is actually a reasonable purpose for me to make. Besides the fact that I now have three guitars and a bass and a keyboard in my dorm room. At one point, am I gonna run out of storage for the shit I keep buying? Oh my god, I just remembered this other song. Hold on. <laughs> Iris here for the outro. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. This vlog was recorded like fully a month ago, so <laughs> it's been a while and it's just been sitting on my laptop and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna include some more stuff about mental health because that's kind of what I was dealing with at this specific week. I'm always dealing with it, to be fair. I'm not sure if that's something that you want to see from me more, but I did a poll on my Instagram and people said they wanted vlogs. So, Here's a vlog for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.